Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again from the O-Ray team with an overview of the BK-EX130-K HDMI extension kit. This product was engineered to make it incredibly easy for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 130 feet away over a single Cat6 or Cat7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content at up to 120 frames per second and is also HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it's going to work perfectly fine with all of your modern media gear. The kit also includes a set of infrared blasters that will collect up the remote control signals from that secondary location and pass those back digitally over that LAN cable to the primary location where they're rebroadcast so you can effectively control the content you're watching. Now as part of this review, I'd like to start with a quick unboxing just to show you everything that's included with the kit, and then I'll take a closer look at the transmitter and the receiver modules and explain the connections and indicators, I'll list the features and functions the product provides, and then I'll come back and do a short demonstration to show you just how simple this product will be to use with your own equipment. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, you'll find a transmitter module and a receiver module. You'll find two 12 volt, one amp DC power supplies. You can simply plug this into any standard wall outlet. The other end of the cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of each of the modules to provide all the power you'll need for operation. Also included with the kit is a set of infrared blasters, and it's really important you notice these are a little bit different. One's marked transmitter, one's marked receiver. Make sure you plug those into the correct modules. You'll also find a full instruction manual also included that lists connection diagrams, specifications, and everything you'll ever need to know about these two products to use them correctly. Now if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at both modules, I'll list the features and functions, and then I'll come back and do the demonstration. Inside the kit you'll find a sender module and a receiver module. Both of these feature full metal enclosures which make them incredibly durable and really the perfect choice for both residential and commercial installations. Let's take a look at the sender module first. On either side of the cabinet, you'll find ventilation slots that are designed to let any heat that develops during operation escape to keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature. You'll also find mounting flanges on both sides of the cabinet you can use to mount these modules up off the ground and out of the way. On the one end of the module, starting on the left, you'll find an EDID switch, and that can be used to adjust the frame rate, resolution, and audio style for the media content you're transmitting, and that's fully explained in the manual. To the right of that is a LAN port, and that's where one end of the CAT6 or CAT7 cable between the transmitter and the receiver plugs in. To the right of that is a power indicator and a power port. The power port is used with the included power supply. You'll simply plug that into a standard wall outlet. The other end of that cable has a barrel connection on it, which plugs in right there. Now, the minute you add power to the module, it immediately starts an internal power on self-test, and when it passes that test, it'll light the power LED, letting you know the module's ready to use. On the other end of the transmitter module, you'll find two 3.5 millimeter ports on the left-hand side labeled IR in and IR out. You'll want to make sure you use the IR blaster that's labeled transmitter and plug it into the IR out port right there. To the right of that is a full-sized HDMI port labeled HDMI in. This connects to whatever media device you'd like to share the content from with your remote location and always use a high quality HDMI cable for best results. Finally, to the right of that is a reset button that can be used to reset the module if needed. Simply hold that down for five seconds once power is applied and it'll reset the module. The receiver module is very similar. Again, you'll find ventilation slots on both sides, mounting flanges on the bottom. On the one end, you'll find two more infrared ports right here, infrared in and infrared out. On the receiver end, you'll use the one labeled receiver and plug it into the infrared in port. To the right of that is an HDMI connection, and you'll connect that to a local monitor that you'd like to use to enjoy the content from the primary side. Again, use a high quality cable to make that connection. To the right of that is another reset button to reset this module. On the other end, you'll find another LAN port labeled RJ45N. This is where the other end of that CAT6 or CAT7 cable from the transmitter plugs in. To the right of that, another power indicator. And finally, another DC power port that can be used with the second power supply. And that's pretty much it for both of the modules. The O-Ray BK-EX130-K is compatible with most modern HDMI media sources, including game consoles, media players like Apple TV, streaming devices, digital projectors, and computer systems. The product's features include full support of 4K ultra-high definition media content, 
at up to 120 frames per second. It can utilize a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable for connection between the primary and secondary locations. It is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant. It offers 130 feet of extension between the locations and also provides manual EDID control and includes an infrared blaster kit for remote control of the content. Now I'll show you just how easy it'll be to use this product with your own equipment. And for this demonstration, over here I've set up a small media player that's currently looping a video, and that's the media content that I'd like to share with the remote location. Over here I've set up a monitor, and this represents that secondary location. It's wherever I'd like to enjoy the content from the primary location. In front of me, I have the transmitter module here and the receiver module here. Now the first set of connections I'll make are to the transmitter, and I'll start by connecting the media device up to the HDMI input port. I've already connected a high-speed HDMI cable to the media player, and I'll plug that directly into the unit. And now I can connect up the receiver to the monitor. I've got another high-speed HDMI cable right here, and I'll plug that into the HDMI output port on the receiver. And now I can connect the network up between these two. Again, it has to be a CAT6 or a CAT7 cable, and these can be up to 130 feet apart. I have a short cable right here I'll use for the demonstration. That plugs into the LAN port on the receiver and the LAN port on the transmitter. Now the only thing we're missing at this point is power, and I have two power supplies already plugged in, one for the transmitter and one for the receiver. And those simply plug into the DC input port on both of the modules. And the minute I add power to these modules, they start an internal power on self-test, where this one is checking the resolution of my media device. It's also checking the internal electronics. This one is checking the resolution of the monitor and the internal electronics. And then they start a handshake between them to transfer the video. And there you go. So what you're viewing here is video from the media device, again, up to 130 feet apart over a single CAT6 or CAT7 cable. And it really is just that simple to get it working. I hope you found this overview of the O-Ray BK-EX130-K HDMI extension kit helpful. It really does provide an incredibly easy way for you to share all of your HDMI media content with a second remote location up to 130 feet away over a single CAT6 or CAT7 LAN cable. The product fully supports 4K ultra high definition media content at up to 120 frames a second and is both HDMI 2.1 as well as HDCP 2.3 compliant, which means it's going to work perfectly fine with all of your modern media gear. The product also includes the infrared blasters that allow you to remotely control the content you're watching from that secondary location and has EDID switch settings as well that allow you to modify the frame rate, resolution, and audio style to match your media content. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time.